Greetings and welcome to yet another episode of STL Soccer Talk, the video edition. I am Tom Timmerman of the St. Louis Post-Dispatch, joined by Carter the Chap Chapley, also of the Post-Dispatch. And uh, Carter, we come at a point at a, where all of a sudden there's been a, a bump in the road, or if you drive the streets around the city park, uh, a pothole in the road. Um, the roads are getting fixed there, but they're not done yet. On a more relevant topic, one, three, and one in the month of April uh, for uh, St. Louis City SC. A rough time and a loss uh, to Portland Saturday, two to one, that had the team kind of down on itself. Trouble in paradise, so to speak. Mm -hmm. This uh, the group, especially guys like Edu Leuven, saying after the game that they didn't give enough uh, energy. They didn't play with the principles that they usually do, which is concerning for a team that claims to be a principle organized team. That's how they're mm -hmm. going to find success. Um, it seems as though perhaps, uh, and maybe you can elaborate <laughs> on this. Uh, teams have though maybe found the book on St. Louis City SC. They kind of know how to approach this expansion club now that they have mm -hmm. what we now 10, 9, 10 professional games into the club's history. Mm -hmm. Teams kind of know what Bradley Cardinal's group wants to do. Does that seem like a fair assessment? That is a, a more than fair assessment. I don't know if you ever saw the movie War Games, Matthew Broderick. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's a movie more relevant to people of my age than yours. But anyway, Tic Tac Toe. Because Matthew Broderick was very young at the time. But the, the final thing in there is the only way to win is by not playing. And other teams have found, playing City, that the way to beat them is to not play their game. And so you have teams saying, we're not, we're not going to, you know, we're, we're going to sit back. We're going to let you try to get the ball through to us. Uh, we're going to avoid allowing you to press us by not having the ball there, by playing long balls downfield. But, and attacking when, they, uh, when you get the ball uh, to be very direct on going to goal. And... Uh, Minnesota to a lesser extent and now Portland has found out that yeah, that way will win you games. So is the now the move for St. Louis City SC to find a way to win with the ball to abandon those um, instincts of wanting to press and they now have to do it themselves with the ball at their own feet perhaps? Uh, they do have to do that uh, they have to find you know, the other team is still gonna have the ball at some point mm. and so they have to refine the press to be able to get it back in those junctures where the other team has the ball but uh, yes, and this was, you know, inevitable. I mean, teams, you know, teams aren't dumb. You know, you, you know, you know, <laughs> sure. As much as you'd like to think teams are dumb, teams aren't dumb. And so you think they're going to figure out a way, and they're going to say, well, you know, we're going to avoid their press by not playing into their press. Um, and so that's something they got to do. We should also say, though, that this is a rough time for City because they do not have Jao Klaus, mm -hmm. who is the one of the fulcrums, the focal points of their offense. And when he's missing, it changes the configuration of the offense and what they could do. And they don't have the guy up front that they could pass the ball to and then he could distribute it and get it to other guys making runs on attacks. Um, you know, we saw in this last game that Nico Giacchini had zero shots in the game. And he got the ball, but he never got in position and was it, never got in the right positions. And it was a problem the team had was that they were you know, ultimately disjointed up front, where they would have the ball, they got into dangerous positions, but then would do something else with it. They would make another pass that would be broken up. They would try to cross it somewhere else, or they would play around to get to the other side, and they just didn't shoot. And that is ultimately something they do with Klaus, was mm. shoot the ball, or get the ball to someone who is in a chance to shoot, and someone thinking, well, I've got the ball from Klaus, I will now take this shot. Um, and they're just not doing that. So they've got a kind of rethink for the guys that are out there, you know, what they're going to do offensively and shooting would be on the list of things to do. So does someone just need to take command of that spot while Klaus is out to, to be the guy to pretend almost to pretend to be Klaus? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know who's the wannabe Klaus on the on the team, you know. Uh, well, only one guy speaks Portuguese, so could it be well, the goal scorer or and, and we were talking to Bradley Carnell earlier, and he was saying that that goal that Celio Pompeo scored is the example, is the goal that was one of the prototypes of how they want to play. And it was the ball coming, you know, Leuven and Ostrak, and it was a combination, and then Pompeo gets the ball in front and puts it in. So they have the guys who can do it, you know, are Ostrak and Pompeo who came off the bench in that game, is that the combination? Do they need to change there? Or do they just, you know, refine how they do other things. We'll find out in the days ahead. And we have a busy week coming up. 
Next week is a very busy week. Uh, this week should be a normal week coming up to the, uh, the FC Dallas game on Saturday, but then the following week, uh, two trips to Chicago in one week. They play uh, in the Open Cup, play the Chicago Fire on Tuesday at their old stadium, formerly Toyota Park, now Seat Geek Stadium, and then they come back on Saturday for an afternoon game against the Chicago Fire uh, at Soldier Field. But that's next week. Right now, this is this week. Uh, City Dallas coming up on uh, Saturday. And uh, there's more about, we'll talk about this at length. Uh, well, not at length, but we'll talk about this on the podcast. Um, STL Soccer Talk, which is available wherever you find podcasts, which also includes uh, a delightful chat with Celio Pompeo about uh, life in Brazil and growing up and coming to America and his first goal and all sorts of things like that. Spectacular. I can't, wait to, I can't wait for everyone to listen to it. It'll be there shortly, and it may already be there, depending on the order that we edit these things. Anyway, I'm Tom Timmerman. He's Carter Chapley. This is STL Soccer Talk. Uh, until next week, be seeing you.